All right, everybody, welcome back. Let's see if we can finish this up. <clears throat> this has been a slog of a recording, uh, to say the least. <laughs> um, if you missed video one of this, I guess, series of drafting, that is the draft. That is a pony. So that's the draft. Um, the second video is a couple games that I luckily did not get kicked out of. Um, and this will be the third. If we win a couple of these games, maybe there'll be a fourth. If we don't win any of these games, then this will be the third and final iteration of me trying to get through this draft. We've got a little Boros situation going, some high quality cards, I do believe, and that's what we're working with. Um, Lifelink or Roadrunner? Yeah, Lifelinker. Instead of the hasty boy. And we're off and running. Our deck doing a little bit of what uh, I was hoping for, which is put a lot of things on the board. This guy's gaining life. Let's play a land. Roundup's a good card. So I could round up attack. So let's do this. So let's attack with the dog. No blocks, which was kind of expected. Then we're going to round up. We're just going to play it, not plot it. And then we're going to skewer the critics on the gardener, making that the second spell we've cast. Creating a token and getting ourselves a nice bit of board state. Look at that synergy, everybody. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Remember today, little brother? All right, guy taps out. Today, life is good. Because he can play it for free next turn. Okay. So I can't plot this, but I could just play it. Let's Roadrunner and go. Roadrunner and here comes everybody. Not the most damage in the world, but some. Plots another card away. You can play this card now. I can kill it. Obviously. Still no Lando, which kind of stinks. Um, draw a card, create a treasure. It's not really going to work. So let's just blow this guy up. Unfortunately, we're a mana short of doing uh, a double of double spelling, which is actually kind of important, but it is what it is. What's coming out now? A 4-3 flyer? Not bad. 2-3. Land to the hand. Here comes a 4-3 flyer. Metal in the turn. We get our land. I think a little late. What do I want to do? I think I'm going to play the coyote and put counter there, or I could just do a little tappy tap and go here. This leaves me open a plot. Okay, let's resolve that. Okay. Now let's... Block this. Finish that off. No attacks. Okay. Next turn, we'll be able to create another mercenary because we'll be able to play two spells. In for four in the air. A lot of mana on board. We are up in life, but we're down pretty much everywhere else. Weird, he's not. Oh, target one. All right, so we can poke that dead. Ooh, salvo. Okay, so sharpshooter. 
salvo here. Love it. Is this whenever you cast your second? Yeah, so I want to wait on that. And then let's uh, do a tappy here. And let's do an attacky there. All right. Uh, opponent down to one card in hand. Good news for us. Good news for the good guys. We have a board state. Um, there's a possibility of a double spell next turn. We have a 3 3, two one ones, and a 1 2. And a mercenary generating uh, enchantment. He's drawing two and discarding two. Sorry, they are discarding two. Four mana open, two cards in hand. And that is a W. Wow. Nice. All right, so I'm happy with the performance of the deck on that one. Definitely enough time to get another game in. I should have won the first game if you missed that. Oh, you actually can't miss that because I'm not posting it because... I was uh, about to win, and then instead of winning, uh, I just got the message that said waiting for server and the spinny, spinny, spin, and then I freaked out and got pissed off and closed the game out and couldn't get back in to do my turn, so I timed out and lost, but that was another win, so kind of sucks because um, there's really no reason to not be getting these wins. Um, it sucks to lose games when like the computer doesn't work. But you also can't fix that. It just happens. Just happens. And it happened to me. Bruh. So, uh, yeah. So we're trying to go ahead here. <clears throat> A couple of solids. It's not the best hand. But oh, I'm keep it. Really don't want to mulligan. Uh, a couple kill spells, so I'm not the end of the world here. Hey, we got a prickly pear! So that's a good turn three. Can't even kill that. That stinks. Uh, yeah. Great. So this is a not a wonderful start. That's a two four. Now we have our own duelist. I think we're gonna go with the prickly pear. Uh, yeah, because they're doing two damage with any of these spells doesn't really do anything. Uh, next turn I could do three damage, so I tend I can take down their duelist by playing my own duelist and then killing their duelist. How many times can you say duelist real quick? Um Maybe no land for opponent? Nope, that is going to need to die. So now we have a new target of something that needs to be killed. Um, just Thunder Salvo it. Or plot this out for the two. Next turn I have one spell, two spells, and this does four damage, and then I can kill the Desperado. So let's just hope no land again from opponent. Okay, I'm just about to create a treasure. Okay. I don't think that's a particularly good card, but I could be wrong. They are in need of land, so it's a pretty good card for them right now. They go from having three land to having having four mana. It's not bad for them. No attacks. Okay. So we're going to put out the roundup first. Then we're going to play our sharpshooter for free. 
create a mercenary. And we're going to salvo the Desperado. And we're going to see what our buddy has in store for us. I haven't played in a long time. This is an instant. Obviously, this is like not good um, like sequencing and stuff. Oh, not no response really, just mill. So that's pretty good for us. Um, there's a, obviously there's you could sequence that way better. Um, so left some trickery on the table. I should be instant, you know, trying to kill that at, at end of turn or something like that. But um, no harm, no foul. And. We've stabilized pretty well here. Opponent is stuck on four mana, not drawing any lands. Uh, that's okay by me. So let's play our own duelist. And then we're gonna try and salvo their duelist to clear their board. We also get to create a mercenary from the roundup. Here I go, using an instant again in the middle of my first main phase. So um, you can all you can all say about my gameplay what you will, and I will likely agree with you. So that dies, and now we're just gonna yeehaw. See what type of weird flashy thing they got? A five three. Good block there. We're getting for five points of damage. Our scorching shot is going to be tough on this, obviously, uh, because I mean, discard a card to sacrifice a land. What are you going to do? Can't sacrifice a land. You have to discard a card. Did you draw a card? Did you draw your land? Oh my god, did he not draw a land? That's terrible. Coming in. I'll take it. Land? He has to have a land. That's amazing. Alright, so we're going to play Scorching Shot, a sorcery. So we're just going to play this for uh, four. Create a bunch of mercenaries. And then we're going to attack. And hope he can't do 10 points of damage in the air, somehow. Somehow, someway, did my opponent draw his fourth land of the game? I kind of feel bad for him about the land situation. Oh boy. Yay! All right, well. Two quick wins. I appreciate you watching. Thank you for your time. I'm going to keep these videos short. I'm going to run it through the week. You'll probably see this video drop on a Wednesday afternoon. And we'll get the conclusion to this draft. Um, I should have this freaking fourth win. Freaking frack. Um, we'll get the conclusion to this draft uh, probably in the next video that pops up. Um, so you'll likely be seeing this on Wednesday. I will post the conclusion on Thursday. We should be at four wins. We're at three wins because of a kick. Um, and a timeout in game one. Thanks for watching. Last part, which will be part four tomorrow. Thanks, everybody. See you in the next one. Drop that sub.